All right, what I'm going to show today is I've got this uh, 95 Camaro, which has been on the back burner for a while. As you can probably see, the headliner shot. I'm going to rip the headliner out, and I'm going to show you how to replace the headliner yourself. It's not that difficult. All right, be back in a minute. Okay, hopefully I'm catching this. This stuff just rips right off. get this material <clears throat> online. I got mine from Freebay. It was 60 bucks. Comes on a roll. Got all these pins and staples. That's it for the material. I actually just got to scrape this all uh, foam off. It comes right off. As you can see, there's not much to it. Alright, I'll be back in a little while. All right, I started skinning this uh, foam off, and this headliner is extremely deteriorated. The vehicle's down here take a beating from the sun. You gotta go easy, I'm just using a rag. It's actually tearing up the fiberglass uh, uh, cardboard type material, whatever this is. Right off. Okay, I'll be back when I get it skinned down. Okay, this took about, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe. Got it skinned down all good. Just did it by hand with a little bit of air. Just went up into the house and I got my uh, material. This came on a roll. I think it was like, I don't know, 60 bucks maybe, $55, I forget. And I got two cans of uh, contact cement, one that I had left over, and I just bought a new one today. So I probably got maybe 75 bucks in this. And if you took this down and brought it to an upholstery shop, you're looking at 350 300 350 that's what they charge to redo these things, believe it or not. So I'm probably going to have about maybe three hours in this job. So what I'm going to do next is... Uh, get this material off the uh, backer and I'm going to uh, spray down the contact cement and we'll go from there. Be back in a few minutes. This isn't that hard and uh, you can do it if you want to. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, here's what I recommend you use. Uh, Permatex or 3M makes it also. For headliners and carpets, uh, don't buy the cheaper stuff because you'll be doing it again. Uh, been there, done that, doesn't work. So I got another can here, and it's uh, going to spray some out for you, just to show you what it takes. It doesn't take all that much. Hopefully I'll catch this. Alright, you got the general idea. I'll be back. You got to do this to the, uh, the, uh, this material that holds the headliner up and obviously the back side of the headliner. I'll show that further along in a minute. Okay, I got half of it done. Now I had to put a weight on here because I'm doing this by myself. And sadly, the wind blew it over as I was laying it down. So it's got a couple extra wrinkles in it. So if you got help to do this, it makes it a whole lot easier. Two people. I gotta fix this little mess. I come over here and roll this side down. Most headliners don't have all these big curves in them. They're usually just flat. And they're pretty easy to do. This one here is, uh, as you can see, far from flat. It's got a bunch of curves in it. So your head doesn't hit the roof in that Camaro. That's the car it's going in over there. That's been sold for weeks. I haven't been able to work on it. So, All right, I'll be back. Hopefully I can get the next piece down without issue. Okay, I forgot to film, putting it together, putting it in the car, it fought me pretty good, the wind came up and took the material out of my hands and took the whole thing down off of the uh, workbench I was working on, so I got a couple of wrinkles, 
but it looks a whole lot better than uh, falling down on your head. So that's my $70 headliner. Took about three hours. Sorry, I forgot to film it. I just spaced it right out. So there you go. This is a DIY headliner. Done. This one was a bitch. It's nothing but a bunch of curves. They're usually just flat. Much easier. All right, that's it. This is just another one of the everyday things that goes on down here in the shop. All right, that's it. Talk to you later. Over and out.